when we when we landed on the moon in '69, and we are how should we explain the whole heating solar wind thing? But it will have surprised in other missions. But this is this is uh, I I ask. why this atmosphere is continually expanding and continually accelerating away from the star. The only way we can do that is to finally go up and touch the sun. We've looked at it, we've studied it from missions that are close in, even as close as the planet Mercury, but we have to go there. And so how are we gonna do it? So we'll launch uh, from, from Kennedy on Saturday morning on our beautiful Delta IV Heavy. And the first thing we will do when we get on orbit is encounter the planet Venus. We use Venus to give us a gravity assist, if I could have that uh, Venus thing. Uh, we, um, we do a little gravity assist. It's a bit like a handbrake turn. We're not like those other missions. We don't take energy from the planet. We give it generously. And we actually slow down just a little bit. And that allows us to uh, shrink our orbit and go closer to the sun than anything has been before. And we're going closer, as Karen already said, to 3.83 million miles above the sun's surface. So we'll use seven Venus gravity assists. We'll gradually walk closer. We'll take sort of seven giant steps closer to the sun until we're in that final region. Of course, we wouldn't go there empty handed. We carry with us an amazing payload of instruments. And those instruments are designed um, to make those critical measurements that we have waited so long for. Recently, those equations tell us a big story. It tell about